So, I might have a bit of a problem. Look, I can explain. All this is is just me and my love for drill brushes, all right? I think I'm addicted, or at least I used to be. So I used to think that, you know, drill brushes were something you wanted to use all the time, whenever you could, just because they clean so much better than a hand brush. And that's true, right? You use a drill brush, you use a hand brush on the same surface, you're gonna get way better results with the drill brush every single time, just because the amount you can agitate, like, it's so much better and faster. It's insane. Wait, I need a battery. I love using this thing, it's so much fun. It just shreds up literally any dirt off carpets like instantaneously, it's so awesome. But I wanted to come here not to talk about why I love drill brushes, but why I don't really use them that much anymore. And it's not that, you know, I think they're bad or they're underperforming or anything. I think it's actually the opposite, they do a little too much. When it comes to, you know, doing things like floor mats, I'll still use them all the time, every single time just because of how well they work. You use these on any floor mats and they'll be clean in a matter of seconds, like no questions asked. Super simple, you know, you just throw on your carpet cleaner, go bazam, bazam, bazaby. You can just imagine it. So you can just imagine it. So there's just a dog like staring at me, unleashed. So I had to make sure, I had to watch my six. Don't want to get clocked in the, from behind. It'll like really take care of any floor mat super easily, no problem, no questions asked. But when it comes to doing things like around the foot pedals or just like the interior carpet areas, you know, that's where it can get a little tricky. When I first started get, with my drill brushes, I was like literally addicted to them. I'd use them on everything. So of course, I try them on the interior and they work well, but there's some things that are a little bit annoying about it. So for example, when you're in the driver's side and you're trying to get that carpeted area below, you're gonna often hit walls, and this is really with any interior area, you're gonna hit like the plastics on the sides. And honestly, the drill brush isn't going to damage any of the plastic, but it's just hard to maneuver it in and around properly just because like the size of the drill is quite large compared to something like a hand brush. And so, you know, you have a hard time getting into those like smaller areas. There is a little bit of nuance to using a drill brush in for interior work because of uh, just the space requirements and stuff like that. It still will clean really well, but you're just gonna have areas that you're gonna need to go and hand brush anyways. And so you might as well just hand brush from the start. You know, this obviously comes with the exception of the trunk. The trunk is like, oh my gosh. <laughs> The trunk is so satisfying to use a drill brush on. Don't even get me started. There's also the fact that drill brushes, they just unleash. They unleash. They unleash. You know? Did I say they unleash yet? So, well, what I mean by that is they just literally fling dirt everywhere. And I've had this happen to me so many times. I got so many sweaters and clothes just destroyed from how much dirt gets flung around. It's obviously not destroyed forever but you know, I look like shit until I go and take off that piece of clothing. So that is one negative thing. And that does happen with floor mats too, where you know, it flings the dirt everywhere. But imagine that happening on interior, and you know, I have had it happen on interior before, and it results in me having to go back and vacuum the other half of the car again, you know, like the seats and stuff that I already had cleaned before. So there is that to it. I don't know if that's your thing or not, but for me, you know, drill brush can wait. Dang that sun. It's beautiful. Like I tried to give you guys a new angle. I'm so, I wanted to do something outside but I don't have much room right now. Boom. Angleage. You can take the angle on the protractor. You got that right there. While I do have all these nice drill brushes, some of them I haven't even used yet just cause you know, these things do have some lifetime to them. Like you can use these for quite a while before they go bad. I've definitely slowed down on my usage just because I really only use them now for carpeted floor mats in the trunk area. Like I said, if there's no trunk protector in there, then you're usually gonna have to drill brush. They're definitely still useful, but you don't have to use them everywhere. And you know, you don't have to be addicted to using them like I was, and you don't have to buy a ton of them because of that. So I've got some extras for later. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. 
Now I gotta do a giveaway one of these days because it'd be kind of fun to give back a little bit. We already got the one for 1,000 subscribers. I'm gonna be giving away a yellow bucket. When we hit that goal, you know, sub up for that yellow bucket. <laughs> It'll be a brand new one, so won't have my stinky head in it or nothing like that and it won't be cracked either. We'll do that giveaway once we hit 1,000 subscribers and I know it'll happen because we, ah! hold up, because we are the One Bucket Army. Da -da -da. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but we will hit that and uh, I'll be super pumped for that. It's kind of fun watching them all spin around, especially these pipe cleaning drill brushes. These ones are, you know, really good at getting in those smaller areas. And I love using this on interior, but it like literally flings stuff everywhere. And I've mentioned this before in a few videos, it turns into a little bit of a nightmare. If you are gonna be using a drill brush like this, do it first and then come back around and clean up everything with like your vacuum and stuff. But there's no way you can start with something like that just because, or end with something like this, just cause it will fling dirt everywhere. And it kind of causes some issues with the, uh, you know, the seats and stuff like that. Man, this thing is destroyed. I'm like, I gotta clean this or something because there's just massive dustage coming off. Probably all the dried up dirt on it that I'm just rubbing around my hand. You know, no biggie there. <laughs> kind of gross. <laughs> all right, I've got soap in the house. Boom. Guys. You only really need one drill brush where I have seven of them and I only use two or maybe three. So, guys, I will see you later. One Bucket Army out.